tonight, punched, stabbed, and strangled. A couple is sharing their horrifying ordeal only with Eyewitness News. Hello, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. Police say that this woman brutally attacked another woman last Friday in North Philadelphia. Tonight, the victim and her boyfriend, who tried to intervene, are speaking out. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Roberts joins us with this exclusive story. Alicia. Jessica Yuki, the couple says the sight of them together set their attacker off, and they were nearly killed for the color of their love. I have not slept more than like. 30 minutes in a week. Nearly one week ago, this couple, whose names and identities we've concealed, say they were attacked by a woman they've never met for dating interracially. The girlfriend is white, the boyfriend black, the female attacker is also black. It takes her seconds to just drop the fact that it was a problem for me being white in that neighborhood. White women shouldn't date black men. It happened last Friday night around 6.30 p.m. on the 4900 block of Broad Street. The couple says the female suspect came up behind them out of nowhere as they were walking into a convenience store. Grabs my hair and pulls it and I'm yanked to the ground. According to the police report, the attacker continued to beat and stab the girlfriend in the face with her key. I can hear my boyfriend just like screaming to get her, to get her off of me. As a crowd gathers, the attacker strangles her. She is digging her nails into my neck until I can't breathe anymore. The attacker suddenly stops and goes back to her car. The victim snaps a photo of her. And as I do that, I see her pull out her gun. And I was like, this is how I die. This is, this is it. The woman yells, I have your picture. She says the attacker put her gun back in the car. The couple have a moment to get away. Police describe the suspect as a black female, medium complexion and build, six feet tall with straight black hair. The vehicle she was driving is a dark or charcoal gray 2014 to 2016 Lincoln MKS with a temporary tag and a broken passenger side headlight. And physically, that couple is expected to be okay. Emotionally, they say they still fear for that li their lives as that suspect remains on the run. Anyone with information is asked to call Philadelphia Police. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Alicia, thank you.